am so excited. I'm getting my pond done today. You don't even know. It was so synchronous. I have been wanting to get this done and I couldn't find anybody. There's this whole thing that it went into it. And um, oh my god. So basically this neighbor of mine, he's a, build, he's a developer and we made friends. And um, he came over one day to see if I needed any help randomly. And he saw my, he broke, broke down in front of my uh, driveway because my road's so shitty. And um, he came over and asked for a ride and I drove him back to his house and in exchange, not only did he give me five panels I can use to make my outhouse for my B&B and my camp hosting, but he also um, fixed my driveway and my road. My road is actually fixed. And I'm gonna, I'm hiring him to dig my pond and it's gonna be like 200 bucks, if you can believe that. So. I'm so excited. It's just like going to be amazing. I'm going to do a natural swimming pond and it's going to be the best freaking feeling ever. So wow, what a big day. I have a swimming pond pit dug and I'm going to go in and manually kind of smooth all this out and most likely do cinder blocks so I'll probably have to carve out quite a bit of material. I like that it's sloped rather than just going straight down kind of so I'll play with that I'll figure it out maybe there's a way I can do this without having to do like straight walls like that but it is meant to be a plunge pool and then what I'll do is I'll have the banks gradually taper probably much wider than what the, the contractor I paid to do this did because it was pretty soft and I don't think he could get it done with that big old tractor he had but I'll probably come out to like you know this flag here and have it taper at least a little bit down and then maybe have some steps or like I'd really like to do like a dock and I've got my pine tree over there and then I've got my little mesquite that I'm that I rescued that wasn't doing so well so there's two trees already near the pool which is great and then I can do some sort of temporary shade structure but there's gonna be a lot more work obviously that needs to be done here but the big work that I couldn't I mean I could have done it myself but let's just face it this would have taken me months and been just total hell so <laughs> And what's so interesting about this happening is that my boyfriend was not able to get the tractor he was going to do it uh, for me and I just I didn't really want to wait around um, so I just decided to like I you know I wanted to pay somebody so I set my intention I want to you know basically find someone but there I couldn't find anybody believe it or not and then just two days ago um, this developer friend of mine um, he got I guess he got um, a flat he broke down in front right in front of my driveway because <laughs> my road sucks or it sucked so bad and so he came and asked for a ride and I gave him a ride and in exchange for the ride he fixed my driveway and fixed my road and he said he has a tractor right now until today till the end of today um, and this was two days ago when he said that and then so basically he said he had time to fit me in and do this so it was like a couple hundred bucks and it's done and now I can really do the earthwork of massaging it into a shape that you know is really like smooth and beautiful and whatever and then get the liner and the you know all that stuff in the filter and circulator and he was even saying that fish would live out here so um heck yeah man this is gonna be freaking rad it's just gonna be i'm so excited this is like a huge piece of my well-being and happiness is having a pool to go jump in whenever i want so i will keep you updated on the progress but this is a big day and in fact that it happened like that it was just came to me it just dropped, fell in my lap, literally fell in my lap that he broke down in front of my house. And then, you know, I didn't even know he had a tractor. He was just borrowing it. So, um, you know, just talk about miracles. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I am exhausted, but so I'm going to stop. But there was a lot of water loss on this one here. Oops, sorry, I'm covering the camera. But, um, and it was going and running off the road here. You can see some of the water that's still from that. And then there was another point right here. And I shored that point up and I actually dug a trench coming from that basin here to this one because there was a under it was going underground and going out still. So still losing it. So to give it the path of least resistance over to here, um, I did that real quick. And then I just did a very, very shallow, basic little diversion and a little berm so that all this that's coming from this channel and that channel will tend to go into that for now and not so much here but um, I definitely will be doing some berming this is going to be a road a driveway but there is a little berm on the other side of that there so I want to make sure that it continues across the car can easily go over that but there's going to be a stop point and then upland I'll do a bunch of stuff which will slow it way down haven't done that yet had a really big rain today um, and last night so several so I'm just I'm going to stop because I'm totally I need to get some water and 
chill the fuck out. <laughs> but I did get um, some real work done today because I had the water to work with and I could see where the water was going and could actually do a lot. I did most of the work on the northwest corner of the property. I'll show you that in a minute. So you can see the berming I did along the road and the swaling, and you can see that this channel here is going down into that. And what I was able to do is get all this water to go into that instead of off to the neighboring property where it was all flowing off to that gully there to go off into the road. So what I did was just a series of simple, on the fly, um, swales very very badly done very rough very rough little things but i was doing it as the water was flowing and i had got the water all the way down to this point from way up there um way up about there was where it was going off and now it's coming this way and it's pooling and puddling and i've got it to then where this is headed into my system at the bottom of the property there. So at least I'm capturing what's what was being lost to the road and the other property. So that's a little bit, I mean, it's a lot of work, but it was on the fly because we had a big rainstorm. So it's by no means kind of like the finished product, but for now it worked really well. We had a good amount of water. And so I know that in, in a rainstorm like that, which is pretty significant, um, I will be able to capture and hold water on my land instead of giving it to someone else where they probably won't even use it anyway <sighs> get away fly but yeah that's where it was going and I stopped it and now I've got it now I've got it here so this is the real rough system I just basically was walking down slope as the water was going and I kept blocking it every time it was trying to go off my land and you can see <laughs> all the action that happened <sighs> go away fly and uh, just really trying to get it to, to stop leaving um, in process while it was flowing. And this is a lot of water saved. So this is where it was going. It was just all going away. And so now I've got it stopped. Where it, It's going to take the path of least resistance and it's going to stay on my property. And this is a flow that actually hits the top of my property and flows across my land. So it was like... You know, all this water that was already coming onto the property and I was actually losing it. So now it's staying. So I'm very happy with getting what I did done, did get done, done. Because there's so much more to do, but I'm just toast. I'm so, I'm so tired. <laughs> I didn't sleep much last night. So didn't expect to do this work today, but it was fun as heck. Okay, so we're getting our third big rain of the summer. And it's enough to fill the swales. And this little guy had a minor failure, but it's okay because it's totally full. And then it's going down into this one here, which is then overflowing there and going down. And it's got another one that it's slowing, it's slowing it down way, I was going to say way a lot. <laughs> um, and that's also been feeding, been being fed from up there. And you can see that, um, let's see, that's interesting because this one's actually holding and not really overflowing much. But you can see that the gully is receiving water from the inlets and it's just gushing down. So I'm probably gonna lose, I might have another blowout because I just haven't gotten enough earthworks done. But this is a lot of really good earthworks up from what I had before. So this is the main bottom of the road area. And this um, has, looks like about eight inches before it totally fills. So I kind of want to see what's going on on the other side of the gully because I did some work to slow it down. And I can see already that that's slowing it down a bit as intended. I want to get over there, but I'm a little scared. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, that's good because there's a little bit of an overflow and it's slowing down the water. And then that's a nice big overflow. That's a really good one. So then that overflow is going down into this one here, which did have a blowout. You can see, and it's going down there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. This one. This. Now see, there's. Is, I couldn't really fully block this off because of what I had to work with. So I'm losing a lot of water to the driveway here, to this 
B&B driveway. There's not a whole lot I can do about it because I'm going to have to have a B&B &B driveway. At least there's not a whole lot I can do right now. But this is all going to the patch up there. Um, when I get the chance, what I'll do is create a proper driveway. Um, on the right there, you can see where I can I can do a lot of work to kind of block block um, the water from leaving my property as much as possible. But when you do have a road, it's a little bit tough to be able to really keep all the water. So this is sort of the best I can do. So like even like this little inlet right here. Um, I could do some earthworks up there and that one right there and really kind of lock that. So <laughs> this is a half-assed one that I really shouldn't have put here because it's right in the middle of the driveway. But this is t showing me there's a ton that can be done no matter where I'm doing it. Someone's stuck. So I'm going to go help them.